If you clicked on this video, there's a good chance you're looking to make a move over to the West Coast, or maybe you already live on the West Coast in California and you're looking to come up north, but either way, you're likely weighing the options of moving to Seattle or Portland and trying to figure out which one might be best for you. So in today's video, I am gonna go over Seattle and Portland, kind of go over some differences for you and help you make that decision to figure out what uh, which area might be the best for you. So let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, I'm Bryce Greenleaf. I'm a local real estate agent here in the greater Seattle area and I love making videos all about what it's like to live work eat sleep and play here in the Seattle area and its surrounding suburbs so if you haven't already subscribed to the channel hit that little bell so you get notified whenever I put out a new video I love helping you guys out answering your questions and assisting you when you're moving over this way so if there's anything I can do to help feel sure to reach out to me here at my info on the screen I am a local real estate agent over here in Seattle so if you're looking to make the move over here and you need some help buying that home uh, over in this area and making that transition from where you're coming from a little bit easier. Like I said, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to assist you with that. But like I said, today's video, this video, I'm going to go over Seattle versus Portland and which one might be better for you. So Seattle and Portland are very similar in many different ways. So when we're talking about Seattle and Portland, there's kind of two different factors we're talking about. We're talking about the actual city of Seattle and the actual city of Portland. And then we're talking about the metro areas, Seattle metro and Portland metro. For the most part, I'm going to be referring to Seattle Metro versus Portland Metro in this video because with many of the people that I assist moving over to Seattle, they are most likely and more often moving to an actual suburb outside of Seattle. Very rarely actually do I get people who contact me from YouTube that are actually looking to live right in the city of Seattle. More often than not, they're looking to live in a suburb. Um, so I'm going to pair the, compare the metro areas of Portland and Seattle and then throw in some some details about the, the actual downtown uh, city specific areas as well. So kind of the first thing we're going to go over here is, you know, finances, income, things like that, home prices. So you can kind of compare financially which one might be a better spot and kind of what the differences are. So as you probably know, it's a little bit more expensive to live in Seattle than Portland. There's no hiding that. Uh, the median home price in Seattle Metro right now is $656. Uh, the home median home price in Portland Metro right now is 525. So you're talking a little over $130,000 uh, in difference in median home price in Seattle versus Portland. Now, moving from there, you know, that's great, but we want to know how much you're actually making. If you're moving over here, you're taking a job. Uh, maybe you're working for remote and you're not going to be taking a job over here. But for those of you that are moving over to one of these areas and are going to be looking for a job, median income is definitely something uh, that's really important. So in Seattle Metro, the median household income is about 94,000 right now. And in Portland Metro, that is 78,000 right now. So you're talking about a $16,000 difference in uh, median income. So granted, yes, the home prices are higher in Seattle. You're also going to be making quite a bit more when you're moving over to Seattle. So there's a couple different ways to look at that. But Another thing that's very important when it comes to the finances and moving over here is the income tax. So as you may or may not know, Washington does not have a state income tax. So if you're moving to Seattle, you will not have any state income tax at all that you have to pay on that income. When you're moving to Portland, the Oregon area, you do have a state income tax. You could be paying anywhere from seven to 10% on the high end for that state income tax. So in Seattle, you're likely gonna be keeping anywhere from seven to 10% more of your actual yearly income. Um, so your income is higher, but you're keeping additionally an extra seven to 10% of that income, uh, which definitely, in my opinion, makes up for those higher home prices, especially if you're looking to move to, uh, you know, a, a metro area outside of Seattle that doesn't have necessarily as insane home prices, um, you're definitely gonna make up for that. Now, moving to the weather, there's really not much difference in terms of the weather between Seattle and Portland. They are very, very similar. Uh, you're gonna get very similar kind of temperatures, average temperatures. Sometimes uh, Portland is known to have a little bit more extremes on one end or the other, a little bit hotter in the summer and a little bit cooler uh, in the winter, but it's not too much. They're very, very similar in terms of the rain. Uh, the uh, average uh, annual rainfall in Seattle is 38 inches. In Portland, it's 43 inches. So Portland, yes, looks like does 
uh, get a little bit more rain, but again, it's not anything that's super severe, not a ton more, about five inches more in annual rainfall. So moving to traffic, traffic is of course something that's very important to consider when you're moving to an area, especially if you're moving right in that downtown city. Um, so this is gonna be a little bit more specific to the actual city of Seattle and city of Portland, but recent study done by World Population Review had uh, Portland ranked as the number 10 worst traffic area in the United States and had Seattle ranked as the number six most uh, worst traffic area in the United States. So they both have terrible traffic. Uh, you're not gonna get away from that either way. Portland is a little bit better in that fact. One tough thing about Seattle is it's so landlocked between the Puget Sound and Lake Washington. So when you're in the city of Seattle, it is a very, very narrow opening to get through Seattle on I-5 there. So that causes a lot of heavy backup and traffic right in that area versus Portland is a little bit more wide open. It's flatter um, and they typically have, uh, typically known to have a little bit better of a public transportation system in the Portland area as well. So that helps out with that. So traffic, yes, will likely be a little bit better for you in Portland than it would be in Seattle. Now, if you're moving to Seattle and you're going to an outlying suburb, um, you're not looking to live right in Seattle and you're also not working right in Seattle, you're moving to an outlying suburb and you're working kind of out that way, then that traffic may uh, very likely not be nearly as big of a deal for you. But if you're living or working right into Seattle, then yeah, you're gonna have to deal with those traffic problems. So I've said many times on this video that Portland and Seattle are very similar. Portland is really seen, uh, Portland is really viewed as Seattle's weird little brother, basically. Uh, Portland is definitely a little bit smaller. It's not quite as developed. Um, but it is viewed as kind of that weird little brother. Portland actually has a slogan themselves that says, keep Portland weird. Now they both have the typical, you know, issues downtown with the homelessness and drug problems and tent cities and all that stuff. I wouldn't necessarily say one is better than the other. Uh, I live in the Seattle Metro. I live in an outlying suburb and I've been to Portland many times. They're both terrible downtown when it comes to the tent cities and the homelessness problem and the drug problem down there. So you're not gonna move to one downtown city area and have a, I think, better experience than the other when it comes to that. They're both terrible. Um, I personally wouldn't live in the downtown area myself in either city, um, but I know some of the outlying suburbs are great. Um, personally, obviously living in the Seattle area, there are so many amazing suburbs around here that I absolutely love that are nothing like the city of Seattle. And I'm sure same with Portland as well. I'm sure there are many great outlying suburbs in Portland that are nothing like the actual downtown Portland area and would be great places to live. Now, one major factor when it comes to this is job opportunities. And this is where Seattle is far and away better than Portland when it comes to job opportunities, the job scene, potential income. Like I mentioned, the median household income is much higher in Seattle than it is in Portland. And that is because it has a very, very uh, robust job market here in Seattle versus Portland. Not to say Portland doesn't have a decent job market, I'm sure it does, but it does not have anywhere near the job market and scene that it does here in Seattle. Seattle is a leading tech hub in the country with so many different tech companies like Microsoft and Amazon and Facebook and Google and GoDaddy. Uh, you've got Boeing, you've got some SpaceX offices here. You've got so many different tech companies and large companies based here in the Seattle metro area. That makes coming over here uh, a huge attraction. That, that's what attracts a lot of people coming over here is for those jobs versus Portland doesn't quite have that job scene. They've got like uh, Nike headquarters and a few other uh, locations, a few other main companies headquartered there, but nothing like what's offered in Seattle. So if something, you know, if you're driven by career, you're coming over here for job opportunities, I'd say Seattle is by far and away the better option for you coming over here for potential job opportunities because there will just be a much more robust market for you to find something. Now, when we talk about healthcare, medical facilities, universities, Seattle is again kind of far and away uh, more robust in that market than Portland. Seattle is known to be a very main, you know, healthcare hub, a lot of research facilities, cancer care alliances, great hospitals like Swedish and Providence uh, and University of Washington Medical Center. So there are so many great options over here for healthcare. There are many people that come here from out of state uh, to get treatment for their, you know, whether it's cancer or different medical problems. There are so many people that come to the Seattle area from out of state. Um, so if that's a consideration for you, you wanna have 
access to great local hospitals and research facilities, things like that, Seattle should definitely be towards the top of your list for anywhere in the country because it is a great area over here uh, for that uh, kind of medical field, medical facilities. Along with that, universities, Seattle is uh, you know a better scene for those coming over for education with the University of Washington mainly. But we've got Seattle Pacific University and PLU as well. Not to say Portland doesn't have um, some options, uh, but uh, Seattle is seen as quite a bit better when it comes to the university options and availability for education than does Portland. All right, and the last thing that we're gonna go over here is recreation, things to do, activities, things like that in Portland versus Seattle. So both are in the Pacific Northwest. So we have a great outdoor scene no matter where you are. Both have great access to hiking and camping, uh, mountain biking, things like that, skiing, snowboarding, both have great, great access to that. Um, the difference lies in Seattle is right on the Puget Sound. So if you're living in Portland, you have to drive quite a ways to get over the coast, the Oregon coast versus in Seattle, uh, you're right on the Puget Sound. So you have access there. There are so many great beaches and towns right on the Puget Sound. You can take a ferry over. There's the San Juan Islands. So great, you know, water recreation along with being right on the Puget Sound. We have a lot of lakes around here. So um, you've got Lake Washington, which is our biggest lake. You've got Lake Sammamish, Lake Stevens, Lake Goodwin. There are just a ton of other lakes. I couldn't go over all of them. Um, there's just so many of them around here. So if you love water recreation, going boating, uh, jet skiing, wakeboarding, water skiing, all things like that, uh, Seattle, in my opinion, is definitely superior uh, in that fact. Now, Portland doesn't uh, necessarily have nothing over there. They've got the Columbia River and they've got uh, the Willamette River as well. So provide some recreation opportunities there. Um, like I said, not to say Portland isn't good for recreation. There's plenty of recreation in Cortland, Portland as you are in the Pacific Northwest. Um, but I, I, like I said, when we're talking about water specifically, Puget Sound and lakes, I would definitely weigh heavily in favor of Seattle because there's just so many more options over uh, in the Seattle area. Outside of like the outdoor recreation, we've got professional sports scenes. So in Portland, you've got the Trailblazers and the Timbers, which are the two uh, professional sports teams they have there. That's basketball and soccer. In Seattle, we have a more robust, of course, uh, professional sports team. We are a much bigger city. We don't have basketball, unfortunately, now anymore, but we have the Seahawks. Um, we've got the Sounders. Uh, we've got the Storm, which is our WNBA team. Um, and then we've got the Mariners, which is professional baseball. Uh, professional sports scene is uh, much better here in Seattle than Portland, but there are still some options in Portland, especially if you are a basketball fan, you're not gonna get professional basketball here in Seattle as of right now. Well, hopefully that's changing here in the next couple of years, but as of right now, uh, you just got the Trailblazers in Oregon. So I've been down a couple times where we wanna go see a basketball game with some friends, and so we'll just drive down to Portland and catch a Trailblazers game. It's about a three hour drive from Seattle to Portland, so you're pretty quick access if that's something you wanted to do. All right, well, this wraps up my video on Seattle versus Portland. Both areas have some great things to them and some not so great things uh, to them. So it's really about what fits your lifestyle best. I personally prefer the Seattle metro area. I'm a little bit biased. I live here in Seattle, so take that with a grain of salt, I guess, but uh, I just think Seattle offers quite a bit more when it comes to recreation, uh, job opportunities, income levels, things like that. It is a little bit more expensive to live here. Cost of living is higher, but that comes along with having, uh, you know, higher paying jobs, less taxes, things like that. So kind of evaluate what situation might be best for you, which area might be best for you. Like I said, if, you, if you've got uh, questions on moving over to the Seattle metro area, uh, you need help in, in buying a home over here, feel free to reach out to me here at my info on the screen. I'd be more than happy to help you out and make that transition easier on you. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like I said, so you can catch all my future videos. And feel free to check out one of these two videos right up here for more content on what it's like living and moving over to the Seattle area and its surrounding suburbs. But thank you for watching this video.